Hi, my name is Father Ben Bradshaw. I'm happy to be with you. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Sacrament of Reconciliation. This means really what it sounds like, that we are reconciled with God, that we bring before Him all of our sins. We just take it and lay it all out, saying, Lord, here it is. And people say all the time, Father, why do I need to go to a priest to confess my sins? Why is that important? You know, it says in Scripture, confess your sins to one another, Father. So why is that important? Why do I have to go to a priest to confess my sins? I'll tell you. Because we're human beings. We are human beings. And when we go and we are sitting physically in front of another person, it's like going and sitting in front of the face of Jesus Christ and saying, Lord, I'm really sorry. And you know, it's so good that we go and we speak it, that it comes out of our mouth because we take ownership of it. And we say, Lord, I really am trying to not do this again. Because with every single sin comes a wound, right? Those of us that have been really wounded, which is pretty much everybody, six billion people in the world, most of us have been wounded. So when we speak it, we take ownership of it and we have healing that comes into that wound. And Jesus says, I am with you. I'm not going to leave you. You know, in John 20, Jesus appears to the apostles and he says, peace be with you. And then he says to them, whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. Whose sins you retain, they are retained. He gives the apostles the authority to absolve sins. You know, when I hear confessions as a priest, someone comes to me and they lay it all out. And I say, I absolve you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> it's not me. It's not Father Ben who absolves. I need absolving just as much as everybody else. I'm just a normal, sinful man. Or during Mass, when I lean over as a priest and I say, this is my body. It's not Father Ben's body. Jesus Christ speaking through me. So when I say, I absolve you, it's not me. Jesus Christ working through me. You know, people often ask me as a priest, Father, who's your favorite saint? Without a doubt, my favorite saint is a man named Saint Dismas. Saint Dismas was the good thief that died next to Jesus. I love this story. And so Saint Dismas, here he is, he's dying on the cross, right? He's got one minute left on his life. And, you know, St. Dismas did some awful stuff from what we know, robbing, stealing, who knows what else. So the last minute of his life, he's dying, and he turns to Jesus, who's dying too. And he says, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And so Jesus turns to him and he says, this day you will be with me in paradise. This is really the first sacrament of reconciliation we hear about in all of the Gospels. Jesus essentially absolves him. And he's a saint. And one minute, he hits it out of the park. He becomes a saint. Nice job. So I pray to him all the time, Saint Dismas. But the same is true for us, brothers and sisters. Many of the people I've been with at death, and I absolve them, and they die at peace. Reconciliation, that we are reconciled with Jesus Christ. He calls you, he beckons you, and he says, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavily burdened, and I will refresh you. God bless you.